السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ہاؤ ووڈ وی انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ دی ٹرانسلیشن دیٹ از کلیریفیکیشن اینڈ دی اسپرٹ دیٹ از ایسنس از کریکٹ ایز دیر آر مینی ٹرانسلیشنز یا یو سی آئی آئی واز ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ دی ریولیشن کمس ٹو دی اسپرٹ آف ٹروتھ اور دی ہولی اسپرٹ اور دی ٹرسٹ ور دی اسپرٹ کمس آئی اسپین ان مائی لیکچر But still, you know, there are many translations. How can you understand that this translation is a correct translation? There is no such thing as a total 100% correct translation in English or Urdu or any language of the world. Because they are human, they can do mistakes. Anybody can, we are all humans, I can do, do mistakes. But how would you understand you can take up any translation without reading the Fasi interpretations? Because once you read the interpretation, it's coming from the mind of that man. You see, that's the problem. People are reading a translation, an Arabic text, and then they read the explanation of the scholar, interpretation. And there are many schools of thoughts. So they inject that thought or the point of view of what they think is like this. And there will always be a contradiction. So how it is coming from Allah, that's your question, the translation. So there is a Quranic ayat, you can wrote for Al-Nisa 4 and I-82. اَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرَانَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ دِي غَرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِي اِخْتِلَافًا قَسِيرًا Do they not consider the Qur'an with care? If it is not from Allah, then you will find many contradictions. So proof is that any person saying this ayah says and this ayah says and this ayah says, you see, is there any contradiction? Translated form, you will not find any contradiction. So it is coming from Allah. And it should have, you know, don't forget there are 16101. Whenever we change the place of an ayah with an ayah, Allah knows what he has to be revealed. They say that you have invented. Allah knows. Allah knows better, knows more what he has to reveal. When he ever he changed the place of an ayah and of an ayah, Allah knows more what he has to reveal. Talu inna manta mufta, they say you have done it. So you take up in the concordance, take up the concordance, take out the relevant ayahs of any, any, school, any translator and you try to read in that context the whole ayahs of that one particular topic, one subject. And you will see in the translation some errors if you have committed. And if there are no errors and the essence is clear to you, it's coming from Allah. It have, will have no contradiction. That's the proof. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Uh, in Surah Bakra, Ayat 106, okay. the cancellation of Ayat is mentioned. What are those Ayahs? Can you clarify? In Surah Al Bakra 2 and Ayah 106, uh, I will read this Ayah and there are different opinions of this one particular. Again, I was just telling this lady that how will you understand that it has no contradiction. Look, I, this, this is the proof now. Surah Nisa, sorry, Surah Bakra 2, 106 ayah. You write down the reference. I will read the ayah. Ma nansak min ayatin aw nunsiya na ti bi khairi minha aw mithliya alam ta'alam anna allaha ala kulli kulli shayn qadeel. Before I explain this ayah, you must understand what has happened. This ayah, people say, there are people in the scholars of the world, they are saying, there are many ayahs that are being cancelled by Allah. That's what you are asking, yeah, you are asking, that, that ayahs are being cancelled. So some of the ayahs are cancelled, and some, <laughs> he brought the better than these ayahs. So they refer to the privilege, privilege there was a law, and that law was cancelled, now Allah brought a new law. That was cancelled, now again brought something new. So this is how people are interpreting this ayahs. So, and there are scholars who, like for example, Abdul Yusuf Ali, and maybe uh, like in, in Urdu there is uh, Abu Mansur. There are few scholars, very few scholars, they have said, they have wrote down that Allah does not cancel any ayat. That is two, two, three persons. But the majority are saying that they, Allah cancels. And now if you are reading a translation, this is exactly opposite. Some people are saying Allah cancels. And some people, are, they are saying Allah does not cancel. But the majority are saying Allah cancels. Minority are saying Allah does not cancel ayahs. That's, that's the two opposites, you know, uh, translation. 
Now the question is by the grammar. The both are uh, people learned than me. The grammarians. <laughs> They are, trans they are translating and by the way, Abdullah Yusuf has is, is, is been now revised in Medina University, from the Medina, you know, Medina, what do you say, uh, university there. And they are, they are, you know, revising scholars are sitting down and, you know, translating the Arabic text. And they have also again translated that we do not cancel. But the Arabic text says that we cancel. First of all, I must put in that we cancel because we have by the, by the grammar. Now, what he cancels, I will explain that. Does he cancel the ayahs or does he cancel something else? Because it doesn't make, Allah is a perfect personality, his book is perfect. He does not do mistakes that if you do a certain mistake, you cancel it and then you bring another, another thing. <laughs> That's not Allah's work. Man does it. Like, like, like some, some rules were made before some government and now new rules are made. Another time, new rules are made. In the all time, every time, every nationality of the world, people are amending their rules and systems to improve upon. Allah does not do that such things. So what the ayah says, I will read down and believe me, this is my translation. So you just uh, have to take up the book from me sometime or my translation and print it. I will, I will read. We cancel from the ayat whatever, whatever we will see. We make or we make it forgotten. I'm just reading, then I explain. Or we make it forgotten. Or we we come or bring with a better from it, ayat or similar from it. Do you know that surely Allah is power capable of all things? So in the Arabic, I'm just trying to explain that the trans the translation where it goes wrong. Ma nansak min ayatin. Ma means whatever. Nansak means we cancel. Min ayatin from the ayat. This is this little portion I am going to explain to you, then you will understand everything. Ma means whatever. Nansak means we cancel. From the ayats. So it is, does, does it sound to you that it says we cancel the ayat? Excuse me, does it say, sound to you that we cancel the ayat or from the ayat we cancel? From the ayat we cancel. So what he cancels from the ayat, you go to Surah, write down another reference, Surah Hajj 22 and Ayah 52. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَلَا نَبِيٍ إِلَّا إِذَا تَمَنَّا أَلْقَ الشَّيْطَانُ فِي أُمْنِيَتِهِ فَيَنْسَخُ اللَّهُ مَا يُلْقِ الشَّيْطَانُ ثُمَّ يُحْكِمُ اللَّهُ آيَاتِهِ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ حَكِيمٌ and we have not sent from before you a messenger nor a prophet except when he wishes or desires shaitan encounters or put in his wish shaitan encounters or put in his wish so Allah cancels fayansakullah for Allah for he Allah cancels ma yulqi shaitan what the shaitan puts in it in the Allah's ayats. So Allah cancels shaitan what and encounters. So Allah cancels what shaitan encounters or puts in it. Then Allah governs his ayats. Allah is knowing why. Allah cancels what shaitan puts in. Okay? Now I'm coming back to the same ayat. Ma nansakh min ayatin. So I says, we cancels. Here it says, we cancel whatever from the ayat. Whatever we cancel is from the ayahs. So from the ayahs, what he cancels? Whatever, whatever he cancels is from the ayahs. So I'm asking simple question. What Allah cancels from the ayahs? Whatever. What Maya Yulqi Shaitan, whatever Shaitan puts in, in the ayahs, Allah cancels that. Allah does not cancel the ayat. Whatever the shaitan puts in or encounters in the ayahs, Allah cancels that. And he governs, Thumma yukumullahu ayati. Then he makes sure that the ayat is established. Governed. So, so Allah says here in this ayat, can be understood by if you go to Surah 22, what is he cancelling? All the time, the ayat, you read any ayat, believe me. All the time when you read ayat, there is a narration put in your mind. 
all the time. All the time when you are reading any ad, people have put something in your mind. This ad means this, this ad means this. So you read ad, the moment you read ad, that comes in your mind. So when the essence of ad comes, it cancels that. It cancels what is ever put in your mind. You understand what I am saying? So whatever is put by man or shaitan puts in your mind, by reading it cancels that. So Allah says, we cancel from the ayat whatever the shaitan throws in. Okay? And further he says, and we make it forgotten. Then what the concept the shaitan has put in, Allah is cancelling, you may you forget that. And then he says, Nati bi khairi minha. Then he better he brings better ayas to cancel again. Or he aumisya, yeah, similar ayas. So you read in the ayas in the Quran that a narration is given, one narration about Adam al Islam. And after in Surah Bakra, if you read about Adam al Islam, about Musa al Islam, and then when the event is repeated again, either it is better ayat comes or similar ayat comes to cancel the Alqa Shaitan. Whatever the Shaitan is throwing all the time, he brings another ayat, similar ayat, so it, it catches you again. Then he brings another ayat, another further ayat, you go. So Musa Islam, suppose I am giving an event of Musa, peace be upon him, or Adam, peace be upon him. There are many narrations. So he brings an ayat, similar ayat, or something better than, so that the wrong concept or the shaitan word has put, is been cancelled again and again, and has been forgotten. So Allah cancel is from the ayat, whatever the shaitan throws in. Allah does not cancel his ayat. There is not a single ayat in the Quran that Allah has cancelled. Remember this. Allah is cancelling whatever the shaitan is throwing in, in all times. So, so what Allah cancels is the al qai shaitan. All the time people are throwing, you know, something. So Allah is cancelling that. Thank you very much. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Sheikh Sahib, I would like to take this opportunity to ask you a question pertaining to ayah that is uh, in chapter 46, Al-Ahqaf. And I will read the text as well. That is Surah Ayah number 12. Women kablihi kitabun Musa imama wa rahma wa haza kitabun musaddikul lisana arabiya arabiya li yunzira li yunzira lazina zalamu wa bushra lil mursineen. It appears from this ayah that that this the book of Musa confirms from the Arabic language. After reading this ayah, it appears that there are two books, as if there are two books being defined in this ayah. Would you like to throw some light on this? Okay. Now, the question is, uh, in this ayah, it says, وَمِنْ قَبْلِ كِتَابُ Musa." Before this, before this, what you are hearing, just a minute, just listen to me. Before this, there was a book of Musa, Imam Abraham. That before now, today, there was a book of Musa from before. This is Wamin Kabli Kitabu Musa. Okay? Imam, this was a leader and a, and a mercy before. Hada Kitabu Musaddiqul Lisan Arabi. This book confirms the Arabic language. So now there are two books you are asking. What are those two books? This book, before this, there was a book of Musa, and this book is confirming the Arabic language of that book of before. So to understand more easily, there is an ayah. In Surah Al Qasas 28 and Ayah 48. Falamma jamul haqqu min indina, talu laula utia misla ma utia musa. Avalam yak furu bima utia musa min kabul, kalu sihrana tadahara, wa kalu inna bikuli kafirun. When the truth came to them from our nearness, they say, Why is not given like or similar as that was given to Musa, peace be upon him? And they do not reject with what was given to Musa from before. They said these are two magics backing each other. And they say surely we are rejecters of both. Okay. Now can you see in the Arabic is two. Okay. Now excuse me. I was reading and in Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and I had 2. First, you have to listen to me very carefully. I have to say, to say, Dalik al Kitab la Raiba fi Hudalil Muttaqeen. That is a book which does not have a doubt, a guidance to those who guard. Here, the word is Al Kitab, the book. Which book we are talking about? This book. This book. Excuse, can you understand this? Difficult to understand? 
Now I told you in my in my example in Surah Baqarah 2, Ayah 53. What does it say? Wa id ataina Musa al kitab. We gave Musa the book. Wal furqan la alakum tahtadun. So that you take, you may be guided. Allah gave Musa al kitab and a furqan the criteria so that you may be guided. You see in the Arabic is al kitab. Dalik al kitab and we gave Moses al kitab is the same. And it is in the Baghdad to it is meant it is for those who take guard. And Musa Salam Allah says, We gave Musa the book so that you take guard. Dalik al kitab, la ribafi, hudalil muttaqeen. This is a book, that is a book, does not have a doubt, a guidance to those who guard. Given to Musa Salam this book for people to take guard. You understand this? So what book was given to Musa, peace be upon him? Come on. This book. This book. Who said Torah? <laughs> hey, come on. Who said please? I just want to know. You said Quran. Okay. Sorry. Book. 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 Is, Arabi says book. We said book. Okay. So this book was given to Musa, peace be upon him. But what is in people's mind? Torah. The first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, and Deuteronomy, in Jewish world, they have propagated that Moses got the Torah. That's in the Bible. And they say that Genesis, the first five books, the painter took is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The first five books is the Torah given to Musa, peace be upon him. Right? So this is their mind. Okay? You understand this much? Now what happens, just now you, you heard, I said, that this book is, that is a book that does not write a guidance to those who guard, and we gave Musa the book, Al-Kitab, Wal-Furqan the criteria, La'allakum tahtadun, so that you may be guided. So it is talking about this book. You have understood this? Okay? But in people's mind, this book is in the, in people's mind. Right? So now I'm reading the ayat. Listen to me. Now look at me. Listen to me. When the truth came to them from our nearness, when the truth came to near, uh, uh, when the truth came to them from our nearness, what is the truth that this book was given to Musa? They said, why is not given like similar as that was given to Musa? Is it all? People are objecting. Why? is not given similar that was given to Musa. This, 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 this is their thinking, this should be given to Musa. If it was this, they would have not said this. So Allah says, do they not reject? Do they not reject what was given to Musa? What was given to Musa? This. So do Allah said, do they not reject what was given to Musa? So they said, they are two magics. There are two magics backing each other and they said surely we reject the both. What are those two magics? One is this book and what you are hearing from me is another book and that is revelation of the same book. You understand this? I did not put the, what I read from here is the book from before. You understand? This book was here from before. I read this book is a revelation to you and this is also a book. I read from where? From the book. So this is also a book revealed to you. It confirmed what this book before you. So there are two books. One is the revelation and one is what is in your front of you. So Allah said, look, I Wamin Kabli Kitab of Musa. Listen, Wamin Kabli from before, this is the book of Musa. Because in Surah Baqarah 53, the first ayah, the Aligal Kitab 2 says, the Aligal Kitab, la rafiyud al muttaqin And the first messenger mentioned the Quran in the chronological order is Musa, peace be with the book. So before, Allah says, Bamin Kabli Kitab of Musa, before this was the book of Musa, Imam Abu Rahman, this was the leader in Rahman in all times. And this book just now revealed, Hada Kitab, Musaddiqul Lisan Arabi. This book confirms the Arabic language. 
you just now came to know today that this Arabic is confirming the Arabic language. This is a revelation book to you. You understand two books? One is the book before you, before, in front of you, and one is the revelation of the book that confirmed this book. Have you understood my dear brother? No. No, 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 you don't understand. Open Surah Maida 548. It's not a complete ayat, but here our, our, our related to our topic. And I, I did the translation. We have revealed towards you Al Kitab, the book, with truth confirming between his two hands. From Al Kitab, the book, and guarding over it. So govern between them with what Allah has revealed. And do not follow their desires about what has come to you from the truth. Now listen. He says, I hold in my hand is a book, right? Listen to me what I am. I will read the Arabic, just listen. This book I hold, I'm, this is a book. Allah says, we have revealed towards you Al-Kitab, the book. Is this book I am talking about? Huh? No. The revelation coming on me. It says, we have revealed to you Al-Kitab, the book with truth, confirming between his two hands. Confirming between his two hands. From the book, Min Al-Kitab. Can you see the two books now? وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابِ بِالْحَقِّ مُصَدِّقَ لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ مِن الْكِتَاب Min Al-Kitab means from the book this revelation is coming. All the time the book is in your hand is the book Imam Amurrahma. A leader of a book given to Musa from before. This book is there. Whenever you read, a revelation comes to you is a book from Allah to you. And it confirms from what is in between your two hands. All the time you people are confirming what I'm reading. So Allah says, Wa anzalla, we have revealed Ilaika towards Muhammad and all times, Al Kitab the book, Bil Haq with the truth, Musaddi Kalima Baina Yadahi, confirming what is between his two hands. Min al-kitab, from the book. That revelation has come from the book. Wa muhaymin and a watcher over it. Fahkum bainahum bimans Allah. So govern between them with what Allah has revealed. Wala tabi ahwam and do not follow their desires. Amma jaakam al haq when the truth has come to you. Have you understood now two books? One is the revelation of the book to over mankind, which confirm which is in the two hands. How will you know it is the truth? It should be in front of you. And what the speech is given, if it is coming from Allah, it will confirm. The book will be there. So this is what it says. So this is always two books. One is the book of revelation to you, and one is before. So Wamin Kablihi Kitab Musa Imam of Rahma. This book is all the time a book of Musa as a leader and a mercy. And this revelation book is Hada Kitabun Musabdikul Lisan al Arabi. And this revelation book always confirms the Arabic language. You understand now? Have you, have anybody difficult? No. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now we will end our lecture. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.